Greetings and salutations to all of you lovely and beautiful, beautiful people out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to yet another installment of Counter Reaction. So, in today's special, special episode, I'm going to be taking my first look at Humbe, 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 Fantasmas, Fantasmas, which I, if I'm not mistaken, it's like ghosts, right? Spirits. So I grew up in two Mexican households. If you guys don't know, I am Mexican on both sides of my family uh, from different parts, all four different parts of Mexico. Um, my, the side that I get my colored eyes from and my light skin from um, is from my mom's dad who is from Jalisco. And I don't know exactly which part, but uh, yeah, he came over here enlisted went to vietnam and did that whole thing and came back alive thankfully or else i wouldn't be here um but yeah i grew up speaking both languages at a very young age up until like maybe eight or nine because my grandparents uh most of them and gra and great grandparents did not speak english but then i got to a point in my life where they were no longer around i moved around a lot and um I kind of lost it, but I have reacted to music from other countries where I don't speak their language. Now, my Spanish is fucking terrible. It is terrible. I need to brush up on my Spanish, and I probably will here soon, just because, like, living in Southern California, like, can I get around? Sure. But, like, it's bad. It's really bad. Um, I don't know how this is going to go, guys. I might pick up every few words but this was a special recommendation from my daughter who her mom is full mexican my daughter is full mexican as well so it's like she doesn't speak a lot of spanish but she appreciates the language she's trying um her grandparents speak it she she she's growing up listening to it but she told me that this was a good song and i told her for her i would do this um, we share music back and forth. She's like, no, don't listen to it. Just react to it. I want I want to see your reaction. So this is for her. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Hold on. I'm going to need, is there captions? Let's see. You, just so I can, I can read it. I can read caption. I can read Spanish a lot better than I think I can. Uh, nah, that's not true. I don't know. We're gonna. We're just gonna. We're gonna. I need all the help I can get. Okay, that's a word I don't know. Mm, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The writing is fucking beautiful. Writing is so good. Mm. Yo, this is dope. This is fucking beautiful, bro. Yeah. 
Sad song, bro. Mm. Man, this is this is just, okay. Hold on, I need to like take a little bit of a break, yo. This is making my eyes a little watery, yo. Crazy, crazy, and how like okay, obviously the instrumentation. Now, the sub, not the subgenres, the genres of Mexican Spanish music. I have to put Mexican in it because there's other Spanish genres outside of Mexico. So, banda, right? I don't know the difference between all of them. Rancheras. Forgive my pronunciation of some of these words. Um, corridos, I listen to, especially like narco corridos. I bump that shit. I bump that shit when I'm getting drunk. I, dr- I bump that shit. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of like, I'm trying to think of all of the other genres of norteñas. No, nor- yeah, norteñas, right? Is it the same thing? I don't know what the differences are. As far as instrumentation is concerned, maybe instrumentation is this slightly the same, but maybe it's like just subject matter. I have absolutely no idea. Um, but obviously this song was made for somebody that's no longer here. Um, but how fitting was it like, like, like he wishes that he could take away one last shot with him, right? Like of, of alcohol. It's just like very fitting given the culture, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just really, really good writing. Amazing writing. And the music is, is lovely. It's lovely. And he looks like a likable dude. He looks like, yeah, he looks like a good kid. He looks young. This video is really popular. It has 44 million um, views. And for good reason. I'd, I'd say the vast majority of people that heard this actually like this song. But you can't say that for everyone that has some virality when it comes to music. The writing is so good. Bohemia, Bohemia. I like saying Bohemia. It just because it sounds like an island, right? Bohemia, 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 Bohemia. Yo, my. I need to work on my. I need to work on it. I'm gonna work on it. Give me a few months. Give me a few months. I'm gonna. It's gonna be like I never stopped. You know. But that is my favorite Mexican beer. And then second, second would have to be. Man, when I was living out there, I was just, yeah, I was drinking, 
Estrella Jalisco. I like that's a good clean beer to drink. So that's number two. Number three, I like Pacifico because it's like a little bolder, right? Anyways, this isn't about beer, but um, yeah, Dia de los Muertos, right? That's what it looks like. I mean, you see the fuck. How do you say calavera? Cal calavera, right? The skull. Forgive me, yo. I don't, man. Hmm. Ooh, that there's panning there too, which is dope. And as the ghosts are no existing, phantasmas on puro recuerdo. The writing, dude, that, that's so beautiful. I love the way that's ended. Is that the end? Yeah. So emotional, man. That's beautiful. He's got other music. He's got other music. Look, if this if this video does well, which I know I know my daughter's watching this. If this doesn't do well, it's not on you. It's okay. It's okay. I like this song though. This is an amazing song. This is an instant like <sighs> this is a gold playlist button winner. Now, usually I find that out while editing like, nah, this was yeah, this this wins, right? This one gets a gold playlist button. But while listening to this one, this one does get a gold playlist button right off the bat from jump, from jump. I have to look at the lyrics and analyze them a little bit further i would say i understood probably 65 to 75 percent of this song understood yeah the vast majority of it but even still there's a few words in there that i'm just not familiar with that i'm sure will have an impact on my decision but it was great yeah wow I think what I had to do there was like contain myself, not get overly emotional because it was close, man. It was really close. But um, yeah, my first Spanish reaction. That's so crazy. It took a while, huh? It took a while. But yeah, I mean, if if any of like the, the Spanish speaking, like oh, just anybody from Mexico that's watching this or even from the States, um, that want me to react to anything in Spanish, like, please be mindful. There's a lot of shit that I grew up on, like Charlino, um, Ramon Ayala, Vicente, right? Like, those those artists, I've already, I mean, I grew up listening to them. Like, Los Tigres, right? Um, Los Tucanes. Who else? I mean, I haven't heard all of their songs, of course, but I'm familiar with them. It won't have the same effect. So if you're going to give me like recommendations, give me something kind of a little newer, perhaps maybe something um, or maybe just something a little bit more underground or old that I might not that I might not know about. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It is greatly appreciated as always. And I do hope to catch you all on the next one.